two exotics on one load. That is amazing. It is so fast. It is crazy. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get double exotics in No Man's Sky. You can get two exotics at the same time, which is insane. So if you love that idea, hit that like button for me. And I want to say that we are on the verge of 80,000 subscribers. And I want to give a huge thank you to all of you guys who have been subscribing to the channel. You are amazing. And we're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So if you haven't subscribed and you've watched some of my videos, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below. We're trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I think we're going to make it because you guys are amazing, mind-blowing, insane people that are so awesome. Love this community. And speaking of the community, you know that I always find my stuff over on the NMS, no, you know, NMS coordinates exchange the no man's sky coordinates exchange i always find it there and specifically this is a post from moon grease moon grease he's the one who found this and it is a pretty awesome find so all you have to do is go there go to the space station and you will get two exotics and i will show you exactly what you, what we mean by that so as always the rule of thumb is you have to have a a, a portal like this and you have to have all the glyphs unlocked. If you don't know how to do that, link up top and down below in the description. All right. But you also, you want to turn off your multiplayer. So go in the pause menu, go all the way over to your options right there. And you want to go to your network and you want to make sure your multiplayer is disabled because anybody can join into your game if not. And they might come in and snag one of these exotics if you're trying to farm. So... If you're farming exotics or if you're just trying to get a ship in general, I would always recommend turning off multiplayer. And this is in the Euclid Galaxy. I think I've covered all the points. I know I always try to do that disclaimer. That way everyone knows what's going on. Euclid Galaxy, that's the first starter galaxy. Turn off multiplayer. Get all your glyphs. Get a portal. Okay, let's go to the glyphs right now. This is what you guys have been waiting for. So we are going to do a bird. A bird. Then it's going to be the spider or the beetle, whatever you want to call it. Then it's the weird, funny face. Then it's the Triforce. The Triforce again. The black hole. Then it's going to be the flux capacitor. The boat. The weird face yet again. The teepee. And this is the last one. It's going to be the dragonfly over here, okay? So those are the glyphs you're going to be using to get to this location. And we're going to go over there and I'm going to show you guys exactly what happened. So, again, big shout out to Moon Grease over on Reddit. He's the one who posted this thing and it looks amazing. So let's head on over. So we made it to the other side and look at this. There's a, oh my God. There is a lot of... Uh, cool like comm stations there's so many look at this there are so many bases over here that's crazy but we're not worried about all that stuff what we have to do is we have to go to the space station so let's go to the space station so this is technically not going to be a first wave i mean it is but it isn't because we're waiting for two different ships on this one and so the first ship will be a first wave but if you wait a little bit longer the second exotic comes in so this is a little bit weird and funky but the basic rules still apply you want to get into your ship and get out so we just created an auto save and now we have to reload our auto save that way we can get a first wave we can kind of reset the the ship spawns that way we can get it easier so let's reload our auto save so the biggest thing to remember is when you first load back in after you reload your save don't move and don't get nervous. It might take about 45 seconds to a minute for anything to, to show up. But if you move, it might change the spawn of ships or it might change the order. So just don't move and let the ships come to you. It might take 45 seconds to a minute. I know I'm repeating myself. I just want to make sure you guys know. Just relax and wait for that first one to roll in. 
And look at that. First one. First spawn right there. That's an exotic. First one we get is an exotic right off the bat. Look at that. Oh, and the wings are cool looking. Like solar panels on that baby. So we have our first exotic right here. And so it is not the best, but we're going to negotiate the price on this baby. And this one cost us 6 million units. And because I'm full, because we're only allowed to have six different starships, I have the maximum number, so we have to exchange it. If you have room, you can just buy it outright. But I'm exchanging out my old one for this one. Yes, I know. I have a, a manual save, so we're good on that one. So we have that one. Now it's time to wait for the second one. All right, now, what you can do is if you're farming nanites, you, let's go over here. Let's scrap this baby right now. That way we can make some room while we're waiting for the secondary one to come in. So let's do this real fast. Claim scrap. And so we paid six million, but we're gonna get four million back. So we didn't get everything back, but we got a lot of it back. The big thing is, the thing that we're here for is we're farming nanites. And so I got three S-Class upgrades, which are 480 each. So four times uh, three, is, four times five, basically, or four times three, we'll say that, 1,200 nanites. And we got two storage augmentations out of that. That is a really good deal. That is a really good deal. But we have another one coming in, so let's wait for that one. And here's our second one. It came in a little bit later, but I mean, granted, I think it's a little bit faster if you just wait for the second one instead of reloading, but here we go. So we can just buy this one and this one's gonna be different because it's a random number generator. So it won't be the same exact as the first one. Let's see. Yeah, see it's set up a little bit different. Let's negotiate the price. This one is 8 million because it has a little bit more slots on it. But now that we've made room, we can just buy it for 8,700,000. And all we have to do is come on over here and we can scrap it and we'll get our nanites out of this thing. So let's actually do it. And again, this is a really good way to get nanites if you if you have a lot of money. You have to have a lot of cash on hand. So let's claim the scrap. So now, look at all this stuff we have. So we we still can sell all of this these extra items for cash, but we can sell our upgrades as well. So we got six different upgrades. And we're up to four storage augmentations. And those things are really, really expensive. So those are totally worth it. Let's sell our uh, augmentation or upgrades. So if you go over here, you can just, instead of buy, you can just go to sell. And look at this. We're making what? Almost 3,000, a little less than 3,000 nanites. Done. Done, son. 3,000 nanites. And all you have to do, if you want to keep doing this over and over again, jump into your your current starship and get back out that way you mean you make an auto save and then just reload your auto save and you can just keep doing that forever and ever two exotics on one load that is amazing it is so fast it is crazy so hopefully you guys liked the video if you did hit that like button for me and if you want to see more subscribe to the channel i'm uploading videos all the time and i'll see you guys next time